Or that's not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. All right, so today, DIY live well for your bait or for your fish. This is how we're gonna do it. We're using PVC, we're using bilge pumps. I'm gonna go through the tools and all the gear that you need to make this. My name's Matt Swigum. Welcome to my channel, Salty Swigs. If this is your first time here, then thanks for stopping by. I do saltwater fishing along the Alabama Gulf Coast and surrounding areas, so if you like that kind of stuff, smash that like button down below. Please consider subscribing. Let's get into it. All right, so here's all the parts and pieces. We've got some epoxy, um, some adhesive for um, sealing any cuts that we're gonna make in the cooler. We've got some pipe fittings for this half inch PVC. We've got a four foot section of PVC there. And then we've got some hose clamps to connect the hose here. And then we've got some electrical connections and the bilge pump. All right, so we're gonna start by marking out the length that we want our um, PVC pipe to be that the water flows out of. And I'll show you that here in a second. So we're gonna start by cutting our PVC pipe to length to get it about the length of the cooler, just a little bit shorter. So now what we're gonna do is just mark a straight line on that pipe so we can drill straight holes into it and they'll all be coming out into a straight line. Okay, so I just marked holes down the edge of that straight line that we made every two inches. And now we're gonna drill with a 3 16th inch drill bit into that half inch PVC. And we're just drilling on one side. You don't wanna go all the way through. You'll see why here when we get done. All right, you can see here, we've got all of our holes drilled on one side of the PVC. So I'm going to connect this bilge pump. It has a housing right here and it disconnects from the pump like so. So I'm actually gonna take some magnets and epoxy them to the bottom of this. One magnet will be here and one will be at the bottom of the cooler and then it's just gonna magnetically hold itself on the bottom of the cooler. So what you do is you wanna make sure that you're using the right side of the magnet <clears throat> that's actually gonna make a connection because both sides won't make a connection. So what you do to remember that these sides will connect to each other is just take a marker, Sharpie, and Sharpie one side a different color than the other and then you'll know those two sides go together.
so now we are going to make our connections onto our bilge pump. We've got our two ends coming off the bilge pump here and then I've got an extra cable. This is the female end, this is the male end. So I'm actually going to just extend my bilge pump cable a little with this connection. I'll show it to you when it all gets done. It'll make a little more sense. So these connections will actually go right to the battery that I'll be using. You can just use like a little lawnmower battery. This is my kayak battery. So these just slide right on there like so. So that's how we'll hook it up to the battery. So right here I twisted up the wires that come off of the bilge that'll just help keep them together and all you got to do to take out the spins in the um, wire is just heat this plastic because you're just trying to get it out of the plastic the wire doesn't care that it's twisted see and then it doesn't wind back up on you just like that And that right there is a fully heat sealed waterproof connection. These are, all right, so these are our connections that are gonna go into the battery. All right, so here we have our threaded half inch uh, male connection. And this is our just regular old, it's like AC hose or whatever, it's super cheap. Um, so this end you can actually thread right on here. This is a three quarter inch hose and this is a half inch MPT fitting. And if you just jam it in there with enough force, it should start threading itself. About ready to go. There it goes. So that is threaded on there. That's not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. All 
Alright, so this is where the um, pipe is going to be mounted. So I checked it with my level here and I made two marks. So now it's level, so I'm going to put my other two magnets right here. And as you can see on the pipe, I have one magnet here at one end and another one down here. And that epoxy, that is just epoxy to that pipe. All right, so as you just saw, I put the epoxy on the magnets and then I put the tape on them. And I got them fixed right here. They've been curing for an hour. And then this is the other piece that goes on the bilge pump right here. So this is all cured. I've got the double magnets on. So what I'm going to do is put epoxy on here and then place that into its spot down here in the cooler. And that's where the bilge pump will go. And then up top here is where the um, pipe is going to fit. Alright, you can see the full setup here. We've got the pipe right here. Magnets on the side of the cooler. And then it's the hose is coming down. I heated the hose up a little bit just to flex it to the side, just like I did with this spiral. You just lightly heat it and it'll flex to where you want it. So this is where I'm actually going to end up putting the bilge pump. I was thinking in that back corner there, but this looks better up here the way the hoses ran against the side of the wall. Um, so I like this setup and we'll just go with this for now and see how it works. There we go. We are all hooked up. <clears throat> Got my battery right here. Power cable. Cool. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Hope you learned a little something. I did actually test it out in the tournament the other day and it worked super well. Fish stayed super lively. They didn't lose any of their slime coating or anything, so they stayed super happy. Look at that. Gotta love it. Love building stuff. All right, y'all, if you haven't already, smash that like button down below. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, y'all stay salty.